James Gullen has only been in the yellow jersey for 24 hours, but anyone who can lead the race through the longest stage, immediately followed by the hilliest stage, deserves to keep it. Yeah, it was uh, brilliant. Like um, I had to do so little today. <clears throat> like the JLT, uh, the roadmen, they just rode the front all day, uh, made the climbs difficult, and uh, it was only about 5k to go and I had to cover one or two moves. And um, we had four guys to ride for me and one of them didn't have to do anything until about 15k, 10-15k to go, so it was couldn't have gone any better really. Um, like they all, they sort of defended the jersey for me, I, I didn't have to do anything. What was it like going up Glengash Pass? Just amazing scenes, sunshine, huge crowds lining the route, steep climbs, it was more like the Tour de France. Yeah, the scenery is uh, fantastic these last, last two days. Um, Glen Gesh had done it in 2012 and I knew it was a, a tough climb, but not quite as bad as my moor. Um, I thought there might be some fireworks up on there, but I think with it being so far out that people were sort of still a bit wary of going that early. And uh, we, we set such a tempo on it that I don't think anyone fancied it really. Confident you can hang on to this now for the next two days? Yeah, I've heard tomorrow is quite a um, tough road, so we'll uh, take it stage by stage. But getting through today was sort of the big aim and um, hopefully we can hang on to it with that buffer we've got. With his two main rivals for the race lead both finishing in the front group, it's as you wear at the top of GC. Damien Shaw in fifth is the highest placed Irish rider, and surely the French Armée de Terre are the team of the day. They got the stage win and have three riders in the top ten. Stage seven is 167.3 kilometres from Donegal Town to RD. 24 kilometres in, the riders will cross the border into Northern Ireland at Pedigo and then skirt the beautiful Loch Erne down through County Fermanagh on their journey south. They should reach the stage finish at RD between half two and four o'clock. <laughs> 